Hello everyone. Let's continue our discussion on the colors and the appearance of the objects in different colors. In the last video tutorial, we studied about the appearance of different objects in white light. Now let us talk about the cyan rose, magenta rose and the yellow rose which are actually the secondary colors. So here we are going to discuss only about white light and then we will continue our discussion with the other colors as well. So let us consider we have white light coming from here. White light is again made up of red, blue and green primary colors. Now this cyan color or the cyan rose is made up of some pigments. Now these pigments are small particles that absorb only selective colors. If you look at this, if you look at this particular color wheel, you will see that cyan is made up of blue and green. So what happens is these pigments, they absorb red color. So when the cyan rows, which are made up of pigments, when they absorb red color, the red does not reach your eye because it is getting absorbed. So which two colors are not getting absorbed? The answer is blue and green. So blue as well as green are reflected and finally they mix up in the midway and then they reach your eye. So the blue as well as green color appear cyan to you. So in white light actually uh, the cyan rose appear cyan because the pigments they absorb red color. So when they absorb red color, red does not reach your eye and blue and green actually comes to your eye. So the color is cyan. Okay, let us analyze why the yellow rose appears yellow in white light. So this is again white light that is made up of red, blue and green. Now yellow is made up of red and green. So the pigments which are there in yellow rose, they actually observe, they actually absorb blue light which is complementary to it. So the pigments which are present over here, they are going to absorb the blue, blue light. Now so the blue light will be absent in the reflected light. So red and green reaches your eye. So in the midway the red and green they combine together to form yellow light and then that's why you see the uh, yellow color of the rose. In the same way here suppose white light falls on it again so red, blue, green and these all three falls on the magenta rose and the magenta rose is made up of pigments which absorb the complementary color to it that means green color. So these pigments they actually absorb green color. So what happens is the reflected light does not contain green color. So what does it contain? Red and blue. So red and blue are not getting absorbed hence they come to your eye. In the midway they join together to form magenta color. Right. So hopefully this was quite an interesting thing as well as we have learned about this. Now let's talk about the red rose. So here we have series of red roses and uh, let's analyze their, uh, their, their colors in different lights. So for that again you need to remember this thoroughly and if you forget this then, then it would be quite difficult for you to analyze the entire situation. So Okay, so here we have the red rose and we will analyze its color in different, uh, its appearance in different lights as well. So let us consider we have white light that is red, blue, green. Now when white light falls on it, we know that red rose is made up of pigment. This pigment does not absorb red color. So what happens is it reflects the red color 
and blue as well as green color they get absorbed so these two color gets absorbed absorbed and the red color does not get absorbed so what happens is red color gets reflected and it comes to your eye so you see red rose red in white light in the same way if you use only red light suppose if you impart uh, red color light with the help of a red torch so from this torch only red light comes out so this red light when it falls on the rose the pigment is again not going to absorb this color so the entire light is reflected and the red rose appears red in red color also now let us consider what is the color of the red rose in green light so suppose we impart green light on it from a torch now this green color when it falls on it as we discussed earlier that the pigments they absorb which two colors so we have already discussed that the pigments they absorb blue and green color so the green color is going to get absorbed so nothing reaches your eye no light is reflected no light comes over here so you will see this as black when nothing reaches your eye you see this as black in the same way let us impart red okay blue light so if you if you impart blue light on it again the pigments they are going to absorb the blue light so nothing reaches your eye so you see the color as black so the red rose appear black in green as well as the blue light okay now let's talk about the most important part that are the secondary colors so let's impart let's impart cyan light on it and we have already discussed that the cyan is made up of blue and green so here blue plus green light is imparted or cyan is imparted now what happens is the pigments which are present in the red rose they are going to absorb blue and green light so blue light as well as green light is getting absorbed and now again in the same case nothing is going to get reflected so human eye receives no color so again you see black so in cyan light as well the red rose appears black let us again impart another secondary light that is yellow so yellow is made up of red and green so red and green now the pigments they can absorb green color but they do not absorb red so the red light gets reflected and the red light reaches the eye so the color of the red rose appears red in yellow light as well okay let's talk about the final secondary color that is magenta magenta is made up of red and blue so red light plus blue light when you add together you get magenta light okay so the red rose is made up of pigments and these pigments they actually absorb blue color and they do not absorb red color so what happens is red light is again reflected comes to your eye so that's why you see the rose red you see the red color rose as red in magenta light also